Welcome to our book summary channel. Today, we delve into the profound and eye-opening book, The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Ware. As a palliative care nurse, Ware gained unique insights into the reflections and regrets of those nearing the end of their lives. Join us as we explore the heartfelt stories and valuable life lessons shared by individuals facing mortality. Get ready to discover the top regrets that can transform how we approach life. Let's dive into this inspiring journey of self-discovery and wisdom together. Chapter 1, I Wish I'd Had the Courage to Live a Life True to Myself In this chapter, Bronnie Ware delves into the regrets expressed by those who wish they had lived more authentically, staying true to their own dreams and desires instead of succumbing to societal pressures and expectations. She shares stories of individuals who chose certain career paths or made life decisions based on what others wanted for them only to realize later that they had suppressed their true passions and ambitions. For example, a dying patient might express regret over not pursuing a creative career in art, music, or writing because their family expected them to take a more traditional job with a stable income. They realized that living up to others' expectations had deprived them of the joy and fulfillment they could have experienced by following their true calling. The chapter emphasizes the importance of having the courage to take risks and make choices that align with one's inner values and aspirations. It encourages readers to reflect on their own lives, identify areas where they may be compromising their authenticity, and find the strength to make changes that lead to a more fulfilling existence. Chapter 2, I Wish I Didn't Work So Hard Bronnie Ware explores the regrets of individuals who dedicated the majority of their lives to work, often at the expense of their personal relationships and well-being. Many of these dying patients expressed remorse for not having spent enough time with their families, friends, and loved ones. One poignant example might involve a successful business person who achieved great financial success but was absent during their children's formative years. This individual realized that the relentless pursuit of professional accomplishments had come at the cost of meaningful connections with their family and the joy of shared experiences. The chapter highlights the importance of achieving a healthy work-life balance and reiterates the significance of spending quality time with loved ones. It encourages readers to reevaluate their priorities and ensure that their efforts in the workplace do not overshadow the precious moments and relationships that bring true happiness and fulfillment. Chapter 3, I Wish I'd Had the Courage to Express My Feelings In this chapter, Bronnie Ware shares stories of individuals who carry the burden of unexpressed emotions and unspoken words throughout their lives. Many of these dying patients regretted not having the courage to speak honestly about their feelings, leading to unresolved conflicts and strained relationships. An illustrative example could involve a person who held back from expressing their love and affection to a family member assuming they would have more time in the future to do so. However, when faced with their own mortality, they deeply regretted not having shown their feelings more openly and honestly. The chapter underscores the importance of honest communication and encourages readers to express their emotions and thoughts authentically. It reminds us that unresolved conflicts and unspoken words can lead to regret and that fostering open and loving communication is essential for maintaining healthy relationships. Chapter 4, I Wish I Had Stayed in Touch with My Friends Bronnie Ware discusses the regrets of individuals who lost touch with friends over the years due to various reasons such as distance, busy lives, or unresolved conflicts. Many dying patients realize the significance of genuine connections and the need for nurturing friendships throughout life. For instance, a person might regret not making the effort to keep in touch with their childhood best friend, only to discover that they missed out on sharing life's joys and challenges together. The chapter emphasizes the value of friendship and encourages readers to invest time and effort in maintaining meaningful connections with friends. It reminds us that friends can provide support, understanding, and companionship throughout life's journey, and nurturing these relationships is essential for a fulfilling life. Chapter 5, I Wish I Had Let Myself Be Happier In this final chapter, Bronnie Ware explores the regrets expressed by individuals who hinder their happiness by holding on to negative thoughts, emotions, and patterns. Many of these dying patients realized that they had the power to choose happiness and contentment regardless of their circumstances. 
An illustrative example might involve a person who allowed past traumas and grudges to consume their life, preventing them from fully embracing the present moment and finding joy in everyday experiences. The chapter underscores the importance of letting go of negativity, embracing forgiveness, and choosing happiness as an active and intentional decision. It encourages readers to cultivate a positive mindset, practice gratitude, and focus on the aspects of life that bring joy and fulfillment. Conclusion The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying is a powerful and thought provoking book that invites readers to reflect on their lives and the choices they make. Through the poignant stories of those facing the end of their lives, Ronnie Ware reminds us of the importance of living authentically, nurturing meaningful relationships, expressing our feelings honestly maintaining friendships, and embracing happiness. By learning from the regrets of others, readers are inspired to lead more fulfilling lives that align with their true values and aspirations. The book serves as a heartfelt reminder that life is precious, and every moment offers an opportunity to make choices that bring us closer to a life well lived. If you like this summary then subscribe to my channel and if you want to purchase this book, check out the link given in description box. Also check out the new designs on our store for unisex t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt etc. I'll see you in the next book summary. Thanks for watching.